Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of American in Germany today in Berlin at the Whiskey Haps Whiskey Fair together with Robert Caldwell from uh, originally Australian but now based out of Dublin. <laughs> I'm the global ambassador for Teeling Whiskey Company. Teeling Whiskey, very good. I was there this summer, a very, very impressive tour. <laughs> now we're going to start off with the top line product, your revival. Yeah, cool. Volume number five was awesome, I must admit, and that was also your last edition of the revival. Why? Uh, this is a, a closed series of, uh, of releases. It started with Revival Number One, a 15 year old fully matured rum. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell from the bottle there that we never really thought it was going to be a series. There's no Volume One on it, it was just the Revival. I didn't know that, okay. Yeah, so. It was com to commemorate the groundbreaking ceremony, wasn't it? Yeah, basically just the, the revitalization of the Irish whiskey industry, Teeling being the first new distillery in Dublin in 125 years and just bridging that gap between you know, putting down liquid and when it comes of age, yeah. which was very recently. Happy birthday to the Teeling Whiskey Distillery. I hope I uh, won my bottle. I hope I won my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so I only bid 380, what did you bid? I got outbid at 350, but there's still a couple of days left, so we can uh, we can bid now. So get in and bid now. Whiskeyauctioneer.com. Exactly. <laughs> oh, very, very good. Now, um, I never asked about this, but this, um, the, 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 the cork part could kill a cat. <laughs> what was, the, what were you thinking? That weighs like, I don't know, five ounces. Yeah, it, it was just to give it a bit of, this is, this is what we call our decanter bottle. It's just okay. to give it a bit of style, a bit of pomp and circumstance, just to make, make, put everything we can into the, you know, we put everything we can into the flavor right. of the whiskey. So we wanted to put a little bit extra into the packaging of this whiskey, make it a bit more of a, a nice kind of product to sit up on the shelf there, pull out for a special occasion Super and enjoy it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Kind of match the decanter bottles of our age statement whiskeys. All right. All right, very good. Now, going over to the Brabazon, yeah, of course. there was one and two. Yep. When's number three coming out? Uh, it's actually a biannual release. So basically hearkening back to the importance of sherry and port mm -hmm. in the port of Dublin, when Dublin whiskey was at its heyday, 17, 1800s, port and sherry were very, very important right. in the, the development of Irish whiskey. So this is basically a harken back to that. So it's a biannual release, meaning first half of the year we produce the, the one, the sherry bomb, and the second half of the year we produce the port, and then back to the sherry, and back to the port. So there'll only be, ever be one and two, uh, basically just uh, six different flavors of sherry and six different flavors of port coming together uh, in a fully, fully kind of expressive sherry and port finished whiskies. Excellent. Now here we have something I've never seen before and it says here bottled July 2018 Riesling cask. That's a German whiskey. Now tell me a little bit about this interesting monster I hope. Yeah so this is what we call uh, small batch collaborations. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of small batch collaborations basically taking a blend, a high malt percentage blend and then working with like-minded producers yep. So in this case, it's Reichstag von Brühl, okay. a German Riesling producer. Yeah. We take casks from them mm -hmm. and age our whiskey for an extended maturation period, anywhere from six to 12 months, yeah. depending on the flavor profile. So this one is basically the Stout cask, what we released in Dublin with, uh, in partnership with Galway Bay. Right. And this one is for the German market. Mm -hmm. So with uh, Reichstag von Brühl, yeah, yeah, we we'll use a German Riesling cask and, mm -hmm. and produce a very, very light and sweet style of what I would call a dessert wine, but mm -hmm. yeah, very, very light on the lighter very, very side. Very nice. During my tour, I learned something that was told that you're never going to release a whiskey under six years of age, except for those bottles that are on the auction. <laughs> Is that really true? I, I can't speak on that. So okay. I mean, given, given that uh, we're releasing a single pot still this year, that's both the commemorative release and the commercial release, I would say that it's false. I've not okay. seen that particular rumor, so I can't speak with authority okay. on it. No, no, okay. But uh, My tour guide said, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> uh oh, I, I didn't hear that. Okay, we can we can maybe get rid of that. Now, what can we expect in the future from Teeling? I'm sure we have exciting new things. Yeah, 100%. So obviously, first and foremost, the release of the single pot still. First uh, whiskey out of Dublin since 1976. It's a single pot still, 50% uh, malted barley, 50% unmalted malted barley, completely Irish style of whiskey uh, with elements of muscat, that's all I can say uh, on that and there's some other things going on for the commercial release. I anyway. took pictures of those casks. Nice. nice. Uh, but whis uh, Teeling Whiskey Company has always been known for its innovation. We're doing a lot of innovation with cask types, so you've got rum, you've got five different single malt, uh, wine influence in the single malt, you've got port, you've got sherry, you've got stout, you've got the Riesling. Saw turn in our 24, the Brandy and Cognac of Revival 5. A lot of experimentation within cast maturation, but also a lot of experimentation within our mash bills as well. So we're doing peated whiskey, uh, crystal rye, crystal malt, 
Uh, crystal rye? I've never heard of that. I know crystal malt um, from Bushmills and so on, but crystal what's crystal rye? Uh, so essentially during that germination process, so when, when you're malting, uh, instead of just using peat smoke like a lot of these Scotch guys do or hot air like they do in Ireland, what you can also do is raise the temperature of the water and crystallize those fermentable sugars. So they use it in like dark beer production. So we, uh, we kind of robbed the idea Ooh. from the brewing industry and, and distilled it and made it. It's very lovely. It's gone into virgin American oak yeah. and a bit of ex-bourbon. So we'll see how that matures in a few years' time. All right. Wow. Sorry for interrupting you there, but it was just like nothing. <laughs> I've, something I've never heard of before. Excellent, excellent. So always experimenting, always having new things, always cutting edge. Some are great. I had the chestnut, for example, distillery yeah. only. I personally didn't like it, but other probably did. And it's very interesting to see what you're actually doing out there. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you can never tell what small component may become part of an award-winning whiskey. Like the, the single malt, for example. 27 different attempts to get that right and it's a balance of uh, five different wine casks yeah. and each play an important role within that flavor profile like a symphony yeah. Uh, so yeah you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily know that those small parts could play a, a larger whole unless you'd kind of played around and been done a bit, bit, bit of an experimentation. And now I'm sure that chestnut in a combination with others could be exactly right. It could give that exactly. nuance that is needed, but just pure. I was like, okay, next. <laughs> it's, it's, it's creamy. It's yeah. definitely creamy. Right. Uh, I think one of the uh, one of the tasting notes kind of bantered around the office is, uh, is cheesecake. Yeah. Okay, cheesecake. I, I definitely that. get some uh, cheesecake mouthfeel there. Very nice. Okay. All right, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey at the Whiskey Haps in Berlin 2018 together with... Robert Caldwell of Teeling Whiskey Company. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.